and this is my weekly art recap. So we are in the second week of January and so this is going to be a fast recap or fastish of the paintings and sculptures I've been producing uh, during the last week. Since it's the first week after the Christmas holidays I still am a little bit... I'm still trying to find my marks a bit. If you've seen my latest video about, about the daily art challenge you already know that I started uh, to paint insects on a daily basis so I did that during this week. I started with some ants on the first day. I moved on to a beetle, an elm eating beetle to be um, precise, which actually was an inspiration for one of my sculptures. A scorpion fly, which has a fun trivia about it, but you should go on my Tumblr to find out. The Tumblr, by the way, is dailyinsectart.tumblr.com if you're interested. I'm going to post these uh, paintings and studies. They are mostly studies, to be honest, about insects on an almost daily basis. Probably not when I'm away. I'm not too sure about that yet. Um, so the butterflies, you saw a video about me painting them, so that was on day four. And then on day five I made a mantis. And now you may not know that, but I've been wanting to sculpt mantises for a long time. Actually, since I made my DJ Caterpillar in 2016 or 15, I don't remember, I, I will have to check that out. And that specific Caterpillar DJ is really fun sculpture. It's just behind me, but you're not going to be able to see it. It's a sculpture I really enjoyed making and that was really fun for me. And the idea at the time was to make a whole bunch of insects dancing. And I feel like this year it might actually happen. So we will see about that. But I ended up making a lot of uh, mantis of mantis studies. So I've been enjoying myself a lot uh, painting. Actually, I started a lot more to paint before sculpting. So I also started this week a new sculpture. Dancing mantises. I actually made a watercolor first. So far I have these two. They are not quite finished yet. They still need some growth and some surrealistic bits. Uh, right now they're a little bit too realistic for my taste, um, but I'm quite happy with them. I just baked them. I also am in the progress of making a full Skillshare class about them, uh, which I'm... Uh, I can't say I'm excited about it, but it's it's just one kind of work to earn money. So this should be up hopefully this week if I can manage, but I'm not too sure about that yet. And the other sculpture I made, so before the mantises, the mantises I actually... Um, they really just come out of the oven uh, maybe half a, half an hour ago and I was actually working on the Skillshare class but I really wanted to make the weekly recap and it's not getting any earlier in the day so I had to actually make a break in my working day to film this vlog. I know it sounds kind of weird and insane but I suppose that's how most people on YouTube work. And the other sculpture I did this week was is this um, cute little teacup that I found at a thrift store. I really need to go back to that thrift store because I kind of want to find cool objects to grow things on. I have... I really would love to make commissions for that. Like people would send me objects they have at home and then I would grow things on top of them and then I would send it back to them for money of course. But that would be something that I re would really enjoy, actually. So this tiny teacup has some um, yellow moss and a tiny beetle with some mushrooms growing on top. So it's a cutish little sculpture. It's very coherent with the rest of my artwork these days, which is all about the dialogue between human-made objects and a very colorful, surrealistic growth and a kind of post-apocalyptic feel but more happy. Humans are part of nature so for me the dialogue between humanity and nature is crucial for us to thrive as a society. The other sculpture that I did not finish this year, it's actually the last sculpture of 2017 but I really like it, is this pink bear 
which I called Pink Peak and it's a cute tiny pink bear, bright, bright, bright fuchsia pink bear that is leaning over the rim of a tin can and looking at growing plants that come from a black goo. And those plants are eyed daisies that are looking back at him, but also at us, the viewer. I really like that kind of world that I have created the last month. And um, I think mushrooms and eyed, anything, eyed plants are something to keep in my work and that I'm probably going to work on. It's actually an interesting sculpture. I almost did a video just about it, but then I thought if I start to make a video per sculpture, it's going to be a tremendous lot of work and I don't think it's that interesting. So the pink bear started with uh, this silly idea of a beer drinking bear. So it's a really bad pun. <laughs> that I had while, um, actually not me, but Tanya from Sugar Sham Shop, we Skype once in a while. And so I don't quite recall how it went, but that pun came and I was like, yeah, now I can visualize it. And so I just did it. Originally, I thought of making the bear in a bar, uh, but then I think I just got lazy and did this but I really liked how the bear looked. It actually makes me a little bit sad when I see the painting of this beer drinking bear. I don't think beer is good for bears and so the fact that he drinks it, it, it I don't know, it kind of makes me sad to be honest. Um, although I, I suppose most people find it funny. And I really liked the persona that I created and this is why I decided to make it as a sculpture. Yeah, and, and so this is pretty much it about the artwork I did. I still want to work on art calls and art competitions today. It's already pretty late, I'm not sure how how late it is. It's already a little bit late, but I still want to work on art competitions. I also scanned a few of the paintings, of the watercolor paintings, and put them and put them in my Redbubble and Society6 shop. So if you want to have some prints, well, go get them. <laughs> if you like bugs, last year I also finished this fun painting of various colorful bugs and then transformed it into a pattern. So this also can be found on both my Redbubble and Society6 shop. So if you're interested in that, um, it actually supports me a lot. Um, if if you buy print-on-demand products. So that's one of the thing I'm trying to boost this year. YouTube, Skillshare tutorials and print-on-demand shops and of course uh, my artwork. That's my main goal in terms of career that I am, I want to be recognized as a contemporary artist. But in the meantime, Skillshare, YouTube and print-on-demand shops is for the income. I'm already slightly overworking, so I need to be careful about that. I tend to be a productive artist because I, I love working. I really love sculpting and painting and, and I also know the more you work, the better you get. So it's a slippery slope, which I always take. <laughs> And right now I'm already slipping. So I really need to be careful with that because I am very tired and I might, uh, I, I really need a break. Christmas was not much of a break for me because I had family around and it was fun and nice, but I did end up cooking and taking care of everyone. And so I didn't really have a break. Um, this weekend I'm actually having a break because I'm going to see some friends on my own so I think this will do me some good but I really need to be careful because I know <laughs> I'm probably going to end up working tonight until I go to sleep um, and, and that's not good. <laughs> that's not good but this is how it is so far and I, I know I'm, I tend to push myself too hard but I'm also nowhere where I really want to be right now so I don't really see another option. So that's about it for this week's art recap. Let me know in the comments below if there's one artwork that you especially liked and why you did so and if you like that kind of video as well. I have no clue yet if I'm going to be able to make weekly art recaps every week. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, maybe subscribe, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!